Open Your Eyes is brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank. Good morning and welcome to Open Your Eyes. Start your morning right. I'm Sabrina Daly. And I'm Paul Lopez. And good morning, Paul. It's a bright and beautiful Friday morning. It is. It is good to be at the end of the week, Sabrina. Yeah. Normally we have you here saying it's Friday, Junior, but it's actually Friday this morning. Yeah, so. it is. It <laughs> is. I'm always excited when... Uh, the end of the week when it comes to the end of the week especially during yeah. busy weeks like this week and every time I come on Friday I say that it's been a busy week mm -hmm. and it's always the truth and I know for a fact that there are many viewers out there that feels the very same way so at this moment we could take a <sighs> Sigh of relief <laughs> that the week has finally come to an but end. But here's the thing, though. I know that our viewers are looking forward to the weekend, but they're especially looking forward to next weekend. Because uh -huh. next week will be a short week. And, you know, there's there's many ways that you can look at it. Some might say, you know, they're excited for the week to end uh, to get into uh, the long weekend. But, you know, there's others that are saying, well, we got to get our entire week's work into four days. Uh. So... I it's, don't know that that's, that's much of a concern. No, for sure. To get the entire week into four days. Yeah. I, I, I would more say that Belizeans are saying we got four <laughs> days of work. No, definitely. I, and mm -hmm. I will say I'm definitely one of them that are yeah. looking forward to the long weekend next, uh, next week. But uh, have, we, you, have you started planning anything for yeah, the Easter holidays? It's, it's interesting because... Uh, my wife and I, we've uh, been working on our budget, mm -hmm. working on uh, our savings, working on uh, our finances for the future, and we've been working on paying off uh, some outstanding bills. And so yeah. this Easter, just for the sake of financial prudence and financial wisdom, mm -hmm. we're looking for ways to spend less and have more fun that's a good thing you and know. so so that's the approach we're taking and we've been talking about it throughout the course of uh the last uh two or three weeks or so all right these are holidays going to come mm -hmm. clearly we don't want to be cooped up inside for four or five days yeah that's no fun we could probably take each other's uh presents together uh in one room or one home for maybe a day or two, but afterwards you start to be like, all right, me tell us your face now. So, Let's so, something else. So, Paul, I have the best idea. I know and people I have are to going tell to you, start giving I ideas. I have to tell you right now, um, if, if our viewers don't know, Paul uh, and his wife have been doing uh, a, a series online where yeah. they talk oh, about different yeah. foods that they eat. But I want to challenge you guys this Easter to find out how to have an amazing easter on a budget what's mm. the cheapest thing that you can do like to have fun yeah. but and, on a budget and the cheapest thing to eat yeah. out there as well that's a great idea that's so a cool I mean, and you should film it i mean it, it doesn't help us with ideas in terms no, of where to go I'm and what to, what to do, do. <laughs> yeah but i i know that there are viewers out there that perhaps but thanks for the idea yeah. there are viewers out there that perhaps are thinking in the same line like all right i have a big family mm -hmm. uh probably five of us and our budget isn't that wide and deep so yeah. what can we do and we're thinking along that lines you know trying to do the things that people wouldn't ordinarily do uh yeah. you know people would ordinarily go let's book a nice hotel on the beach side mm -hmm. uh let's go to placenta or whatever and uh, spend an exorbitant amount of money but then there are also those that say hey let's curtail our spending let's yeah. save and so I know that there are viewers out there that could relate, and these are good conversations to have. But we're doing things that people wouldn't ordinarily do no, uh, uh, on a Easter, regular Easter, so that years from now, when we actually enter a space where we have that level of financial freedom, yeah. uh, that we could do things that 
we've always wanted to do now Absolutely. that nobody is actually doing. So who knows? Five years from now, the conversation might be, all right, we're booking our tickets to Bora Bora. Bora Bora. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, I, I, I agree with you. And I'm hoping that you're able to still uh, get some rest and recharge. That's some R &R, the most important. Uh, and uh, you're able to spend time with your family. Of course, for those that uh, are looking forward to uh, the long weekend because of uh, spiritual reasons, that's also uh, something to look forward yeah. to, to enjoy as well. What is your plans? I have none. Okay. <laughs> I never have any. Mm -hmm. um, I and it's for no particular reason. I just I'm just gonna be at home more than likely, and and I'm gonna be enjoying the peace and quiet. And if I end up somewhere, then I end up somewhere. <laughs> you 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 got a river that um, exactly. boom, so that like the easiest thing to walk down the river. Exactly, man. I could literally walk down the street. I yeah. could look uh, at the back of my uh, door, and and there's yeah. howler monkeys. That's a whole See? other experience. Oh my gosh. I literally live where you vacation. You, exactly, you, know? <laughs> you live in an eco resort. <laughs> exactly, but now moving into uh, some interesting topics that are buzzing uh, on this Friday morning. One of them that uh, was a highlight in our news cast last night, well actually two of them, was the announcement of a young high schooler from the Belize High School that was uh, awarded an opportunity to partake in a summer program at an Ivy League college in the United States, and that's Yale University. Now this was such a, a, a touching story because I love seeing uh, young Belizeans getting opportunities like this, Paul, putting Belize on the map in a unique way. As you'd know, uh, getting into these schools, it, the chances are really, really slim. It's, yeah. it's hard to get into an Ivy League school. Of course, she, she's not, she's not uh, 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 going to be attending the university as yet. It's just a program. But still, she was one out of 10,000 uh, uh, students or applications, applications. that yeah. uh, was selected. Yeah, so congratulations to Sandra Lindo. This, uh, there is a pride and a joy that... Uh, emanates from Belizeans across the country when you uh, see a true, true born bred Belizean, yeah. somebody who's uh, spent their life, if not all, most of their lives, uh, being nurtured by mm -hmm. our education system right here in Belize, more so in Belize City, right. to then have take that sort of nurturing and apply it. Mm -hmm. to uh, an opportunity at an Ivy League school like Yale and then for the school to give the thumbs up and say, hey, we see your application, we see your work, uh, which is as a result of the nurturing that uh, this student received from the school right here in Belize. And guess what? We're giving you the thumbs up. You can come and you can join our program. That, that speaks volumes and yeah. that should be encouraging to every Belizean, young and old, to know that if you just dedicate yourself, dedicate your time, uh, do what is necessary, then the sky is the limit for you because we have it in, in us. You know this saying that continues to spread and be popular, oh Belizeans, no got talent. I think it is to our disadvantage when we say that and when we share that amongst each other, even jokingly because the truth of the matter is we do have talent and we should flip that on its head and say, man, Belizeans got lots of talent. And this yeah. young lady is showing that uh, by not only deciding to apply, which takes courage and bravery, but mm -hmm. now to be accepted to a program like this. For me, what was inspiring about that uh, story and uh, from uh, the young lady, Miss Lindo, is the fact that she's so young, Paul, but she's already preparing for her future. Mm -hmm. um, I believe she's a junior, which would uh, equate to third form mm -hmm. um, in high school. So she's very young and she's already thinking about her career path that she wants to venture into. Uh, she was one of the students that uh, represented Belize at the Hasia, uh, I think it was a, a conference. Harvard program. Yeah, it was a it was a program that uh, uh, engaged other high schoolers from across the, the, the world as well, uh, talking about uh, uh, issues that affect uh, different countries in the world mm -hmm. too. So to see how one, she is so interested in what's taking place in the world, but she also has a heart of service. Her mother would have given an interview last night and explained how her daughter, Sandra, has always been one that wanted to give back. And that, that to me was really important. And I believe that 
is also one of the things that these schools are looking for. They're not mm. only looking for an academic individual. They're looking for someone who has uh, uh, interests beyond just going to school. They want to give back to their community or to society. Mm. So I really have to commend uh, Sandra Lindo, but also her parents, uh, one teachers. for raising uh, such, a, such a great uh, child, her teachers, as you mentioned, for nurturing her at the school. And I wish her all the best. We all wish her all the best. 100%. Certainly important that we highlighted that from the news uh, this morning on Open Your Eyes. Yeah. And in our second What's Buzzing uh, topping, and this one was actually done by you, Paul. Yeah. You went to take a little bit of a tour around Belize City to mm -hmm. find uh, some neighbors. Yeah, it was, I, I, I was looking for my neighbors and I ended up at the neighbors. <laughs> but the, uh, it's, uh, it wasn't uh, fully an in-depth look at the franchise. It was more so a surface level uh, kind of intro, get to know what the franchise is, how it works, uh, mm -hmm. how it's benefiting Belizeans. Because when I heard that the that basically neighbors sets up this structure for Belizean uh, entrepreneurs to manage, I thought to myself, man, this is really impacting yeah. and benefiting the lives of Belizeans. Fifty two stores, and they're all managed by Belizeans, most of them, the majority, are managed by Belizeans from the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So basically, you come in the neighborhood, uh, you establish a neighbor's store, and it's a neighbor that run it. Yeah. It's a, it's a na I, nah, my neighbor, yeah. right? I love I, it. I know, I know Judge, yeah. right? And Judge, you run a neighbor's store. Now yeah. he's popular in the community, he's trusted, uh, he's a man of integrity and character. So. I'll go and support the store, but I'm also supporting my yeah. neighbor. And beyond, so that's the concept there. Beyond that, too, I, I think what I also appreciated was the development that they gain, uh, aside from uh -huh. just uh, opening a store, personal being an independent uh, entrepreneur, as you mentioned, they gain personal development. I believe you interviewed a young lady that uh, mm -hmm. would have been uh, 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 heading one of the neighbor's store here in Belize City for, for the past two, two years. years. Mm -hmm. And she mentioned that she got some training in, in managing mm -hmm. this store. Uh, and, and that's that's impressive, Paul, yep. because most people, they go into entrepreneurship and they try to figure it out as they go, uh -huh. you know. And uh, this company, Bowen & Bowen, is giving these entrepreneurs an opportunity to get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. And I think that that really speaks volumes. This, you imagine somebody comes to you, and then this is business, so everybody's in it for a profit. We mm -hmm. get that. But you could imagine somebody comes to you and say, hey, we'll set up the shop for you. We'll do the renovations. We'll stock it, we'll, we'll put inventory, uh, deal with inventory, so you don't have to worry about that. We'll finance it with we'll the train capital, you. we'll train you, and all you have to do is be motivated and want, willing to work yeah. and make this thing a success. Yeah. We're already giving you all the tools for and success. And you get majority of the profits. And you get a majority of the profits. Come on, man. Channel yeah. 5, let's have watch out because you'll see your next neighbor's store. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really good. Uh, uh, and as we've been mentioning, this is what we want to see, you uh -huh. know, across the board. Of course, there are people who... Uh, choose to work in the public service or work for yeah. someone but there are people who are born and and they just feel like they have to be and entrepreneurs have and they have to a dream that. to yeah. own something for themselves so this is inspiring to see that there yes. are uh, bigger franchises that are willing to pour into small business yeah. we have Wonderful. to commend them for that yes indeed. and i'm looking forward to seeing uh, some other neighbors maybe across the country yeah, and I, I i like the stories personally i'll yeah. tell you it is uh the this a convenient store type of approach that I enjoy and they have one or two snacks in specific that you could only find at neighbors that uh, when I was abroad when I spent some time in Trinidad mm -hmm. to be specific there were some of my favorite snacks really yes What's and that? So there there's a there's a particular uh, biscuit okay that I that I like and I enjoyed it every time I was, uh, every, I had the opportunity while I was in Trinidad. And so the first I saw of it in Belize mm -hmm. was at a neighbor's store. And I said, man, 
want to sell me with this <laughs> alone. And the so nostalgia, I, no? Right? And so every time I find a store, I yeah. go in if I have an opportunity. You know, I, I was laughing to myself a little bit when I was watching your story because the first thing you went for was a Diet Coke. Yeah, well, that's, that's my go-to. More than an obsession. More than an obsession. So they did not have to tell me <laughs> twice. And that wasn't uh, paid for by any of them. Yeah. I paid for it on yeah, my he own. His own Diet I Coke. told Miss uh, Beatrice, that's the manager's name, I said, I want to support this business. Yes. I don't don't give me anything for free today. Take this two dollars and put it towards the success that you're already having. Absolutely. Well, I love it. I love that uh, we're talking about small business. And as you know, uh, on Fridays as well, we'll also be jumping into some some small businesses as well mm -hmm. later in the show. But moving now into our weather update, and uh, they did promise us that it might be a warmer day today. But to get that official confirmation, we have the weather update from our friends at the National Meteorological Service. Good morning, Belize. Hot and mostly dry conditions prevail. The 24-hour forecast for Belize and her coastal waters calls for sunny and hot conditions to prevail today, and high temperatures will range from 92 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 103 inland and 89 over the mountains. With these high temperatures, a heat alert is in effect, and therefore residents, especially those living inland, are advised to stay hydrated and avoid outdoor activities as much as possible, especially during the afternoon hours. Tonight, the skies will be partly cloudy with low temperatures of 81 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 72 inland and 68 in the higher elevations. Little to no rainfall is expected. The winds will blow from the southeast at 5 to 15 knots and the sea state will be choppy. A high tide will occur at 9 a.m. followed by a low at 2.43 p.m. Another high occurs at 8.50 tonight and a low at 3.34 a.m. The sun will rise at 5.54 this morning and set at 6.04 this evening. The moon comes up at 14 minutes past 4 this evening and set at 5.01 tomorrow morning. The outlook for Saturday and Saturday night is for fair and warm conditions to prevail and showers will be isolated. In the sargasm forecast, sargasm amounts over the area remain relatively low with minimal to moderate impacts and no significant change is expected during the next week. In the fire forecast, the risk for forest fires remain high. And that's your morning forecast that was prepared here at the National Meteorological Service. Wow, looks like it's going to be hot. Yeah, yeah we, we're seeing some triple digits there, Paul. Not excited about that uh, for the folks uh, inland. Stay cool. <laughs> Moving now into our show lineup, we have a jam-packed show for you on this fun Friday. Starting things off, we'll be cooking up some tuna with a drink called with a drink called Moana Island Fruit Punch with Grace. <laughs> and in our second conversation, we'll be talking about the first Lego competition Ooh, at the STEAM Academy. Ooh. Yeah. And in our third segment, we'll be highlighting women in business, as we mentioned, uh, uh, and, and really showcasing small business in this month of Women's Month. And in our fourth and final conversation, it's all about G -G Jiu-Jitsu! Jiu-Jitsu! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that word always gets my tongue, tongue twister. twisted. Yeah. And it's all about women in Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, <laughs> right? all right. Well, we'll see what happens. But we got to take our first break. And when we come back, we'll be switching over to our TV kitchen, where we'll be cooking with Grace and you. I'm David Humes, this is Vanessa Humes. We own Liverpool Cool Spot. Belize Bank save us a lot of time. Working with them, we can keep track exactly what we spend. But we recommend Belize Bank 100% because we don't have to go to stand up in line and we can check on our, our account right from our house. Working with Belize Bank is the best.
1,067,700 slices of bacon are eaten by tourists each year, stimulating our local economy. Tourism means business. Technology is ubiquitous and it's transforming how, when and where we work. Fulltech Systems is placing award-winning devices in the hands of information workers, allowing them to work without compromise in a world without wires, to innovate, create and to maximize productivity anytime, anywhere. Satisfying the needs of the desk-centric remote and field worker and every other worker in between. We are providing the industry's best devices to businesses going through the process of digital transformation. Partner with us today to provide the solutions that will allow your employees to work effectively and efficiently to enhance your customer's experience. Tech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. This plan, I can't leave this plan. Smart Belize! Hey there, smart thinkers. We're turbocharging your mobile experience with Smart's powered up postpaid plans. Imagine a world where your data speeds flows faster than ever. Well, guess what? We've cranked up the dial and unleashed the postpaid power of smart lightning fast LTE data on all our postpaid plans. That's right, no speed bumps, more data. It's like having a limitless highway of data speed at your fingertips. Whether you're a lone ranger with an individual plan or a squad rolling with a group plan, everyone gets to surf stream and share at enhanced full high quality speed switch to smart's powered up postpaid plans today and ride the wave of postpaid power visit any smart showroom or smart-bz.com for details and make your mobile experience smarter and faster smart bringing people together i know i can't let this plan i can't let this plan Wake up! Wake up! Now which cheese you think you may to eat all the while? Got your cheese with the blue rooster on the label is the traditional and the real deal. The original Dutch red back or hard cheese in a Belize. Be aware! Check your label and make sure it is in English and for the Belize market. Got your cheese with the blue rooster. The real deal. Santiago Castillo Limited, supporting and building our Belizean community for 95 years and counting. Gaia Edam Dutch Cheese, aged and tropicalized, the best formula for the Belize market. Exclusively distributed by Santiago Castillo Limited. Come on, we gotta get into the operating theater. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Come on, it's critical, guys. Let's go. I miss you so much, Daddy. Welcome home. How are you doing, son? Thank God you're back, Uncle. Mike. Hey, Mike. What's going on, man? We haven't hung out. We haven't touched base. Yeah, man. It's not 
I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just trying to get things back to normal, you know? To be honest, this is far from a normal you. You know I'm your boy, man. I'm here to help you. You know, there are some professional places that can assist you to get your mind back to normal. You can have a look at this. All right, man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks very much. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a read later, okay? Thanks. Okay, okay. Thank you. Look what you did. You can't be spinning around all over the place. Just, just go. Just, just go. It's okay, baby. Daddy didn't mean it. What's the drama? Mike. This is not you. Your body has healed, but your mind hasn't. You can't be doing this alone. You need some help. have information about a crime or a fugitive in our community? You can submit a tip anonymously with your smartphone using this program in safeguarding our community also protects your identity, keeping you out of the court system and could earn you a cash reward. Here is how it works. Download the free P3 Tips app from the Apple Store or Android Market. P3 is the provider of our secure anonymous tip collecting software. Open the app and create a PIN, but be sure to remember that number, then select your location. Next, select the type of crime. When submitting a tip, be as specific as possible. If you have a picture, video or audio that will help officers, you can upload them from your phone. Information leading to an arrest can earn you a cash reward of up to $1,000. Once your tip is submitted, you'll be given a tip ID and password. Check back if your tip leads to an arrest. You'll be told how much you were rewarded and how to anonymously collect your cash. It's time that we realize that we must work together to thrive. The world as we know it, the sky and below it. Could I never have more wonder, yeah, with life and all you see and the climate's changing. Come but hope is remaining. And we can't ignore the future, it depends on you and me. One chance, all that we got. One voice, together we start. Take care, the world where we live, permite a todos vivir. Tomamos la oportunidad, vanguarda la humanidad. And I must leave no one behind, because we are, because we are. Taking its name from the venerable father of the nation, the George Price Highway stretches 77 miles from Belize City to Benque Viejo. Originally built in the 1930s, this cross-country highway system is the artery that links Belize to Central America at the western border with Guatemala. That connection facilitates overland trade, supporting Belize's economic development. Winding its way across the scenic countryside, the George Price Highway, from Roaring Creek to Esperanza, has been fully reconstructed to meet international standards, with particular emphasis on road safety. A shorter and hassle-free commute is best enjoyed when everyone obeys the traffic laws. To reduce the number and frequency of road traffic accidents, it means that a seatbelt must be worn at all times, and the speed limit observed when traveling along the highway. It also means that pedestrians must use sidewalks and crosswalks where available. Buses should only board and discharge passengers at a designated bus stop. 
Road safety is everyone's responsibility. It begins with you. What does family mean to you? Always remember, they may not be in the same place. Make the time you spend together fun and memorable. Ignore the petty differences. Love them while you still can. Life can be short. You can be the glue that keeps them together. Family. Meaningful always. where we'll be cooking up with you this morning. And of course, we are joined by Miss V and Marvin. This is the last day in the kitchen uh, until after the Easter. That's right. Yes, That's right. I, I have to say, Miss V, I, I really appreciated how you try to incorporate fish every uh, other week into uh, the kitchen because of the Lent times. Yeah. And uh, this morning, you'll be doing just that again. Now, I have to say as well, I never know how to pronounce uh, what, you, what you're planning to make this Cro morning. What, tuna cakes? Cro croquets? Croquets? Tuna cakes. Tuna <laughs> that is not there. <laughs> it's tuna croquets, of yeah. course. Yeah. And it's okay. just a, a fancy little name, you know, but then again, it's tuna cakes. Yeah, make it easier for yourself. Right. Yes, you know, um, it's always a pleasure. Yes. Your I mean, Sabrina <laughs> and my my dear Paul. Paul, I missed you. I missed miss you too. Too, I miss your cooking more though. So, so let's we're get gonna right eat up today. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So, um, good morning again, everybody. Um, today again we're incorporating Grace product as always, and the tuna is the star of the show. Mm -hmm. We added um the pure the papa. This is a um. Uh, potato flakes from Grace. Mm -hmm. It's instant. You just add the milk, add butter, whatever season. If you want salt, black pepper, um, garlic powder, you can spice it up because yeah. that's what I that's what I do. And so it's good. How, how close does this come to actually the well, original? Well, you can see there, Paul. I see the consistency. Yes, the the, con the consistency is to me. It's almost the same. It's just for your palate. Uh -huh. Everybody palate is different. Some yeah. people might say, oh, you, you taste the fake in it. Yeah. Whatever the case might be, but for me, it's convenient. And I like that yeah. you said you could season it and add Yes, you want yes. To, you, know. you can add, you can even add cheese. Yeah. As I'm a oh, cheese, yes, a cheese lover, you can elevate it. Yeah. You know, and they come in this um, big packet and a, a, a smaller one. I should have gotten one so that you guys can see. But it's reasonable, guys. Right. It's reasonable compared to maybe a pound of potato at uh -huh. the market. So that's what we're uh -huh. gonna um, be using today. So again, there's four different kinds. They have the um, the chunk light in water. They have the shredded in water. And you have the um, the chunk in um, vegetable oil and the shredded in vegetable oil. So if you're someone that prefer the oil or the water, it's yeah. up to you to use. And like I said last time when we did the panadas, I incorporate two well, as to, yeah. to you know give it a, a different flavor. But for me, tuna is tuna. Paul, so I, you weren't here, but we literally made panadas with <laughs> tuna. Wow, it yeah. was good. I've heard about that. Before. It was <laughs> good. <laughs> First time yeah, doing but that. yeah. So now we're making tuna cakes this morning, yes. and it's not the dessert cake that you guys no. are thinking yeah. of. No. So how do we begin? All right. So I I went a bit ahead and I um. Um, did the um the potato I did some of the um yeah. the potato so we're just gonna add this you want in to go ahead and do it so I can all right, Paul, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> all right so I can go ahead um I have some veggies here some bell peppers red 
and green onion and cilantro there you can add right. whatever you want to this is just to give the um the cakes uh, um and that a color. is grease coconut oil of course yes. you can not have yes. coconut oil yes yeah. yes so um i'm gonna saute this and paul you can go ahead and add the um tuna, the tuna. this is three um three cans i'm trying my best guys to to give you the measurement the as we go along this is three cans so we're adding this in here yes you okay. can go ahead and you ahead. your your choice of tuna was the shredded or the chunk no the chunk in in water, water. In you water. can use the um you can use the shredded one it's okay mm -hmm. but for me i want the um the tuna to come through do i mix this in it, yes you can go ahead and mix it it's just for me to saute it it's basically at this point it's just add whatever you want to add but then yeah. i'm just gonna let you guys know saute the veg we have some um season Seasoning. here i went ahead and and, and mixed it it's about um about a half tablespoon i will say we're not going to use all this is a mixture of what we have here i have the um the malher um garlic powder the onion powder of course they have the black pepper the complete season and the, the um chicken mm -hmm. malher as well so we're going to add this to taste i'm just going to add that for you paul because i don't want it to yeah, be no over um over season, over season. Uh -huh. you you don't have to add you don't have to add cheese but then we're going to add some of cheese we gotta add some, we some bread crumbs for the binding because then it's potato the potato yeah. is, um, is moist so, so you, you can go ahead and add that um crumbs. add that this morning have you ever had tuna cakes, Paul? I've never had tuna cakes. I'm intrigued by the process so far. Yeah. Yes. Um, I could smell the tuna aroma already coming out and combined with the potato. Yeah. Right. And then the breading, I see the sense of it in that it will bind everything together, yeah. which is exactly what you want. I could use my hands for this, right? Like, yeah. I don't have to continue using a spoon yeah, if yeah, I want yeah, to yeah. get a bit of get, oh, get my hands a bit. Yes, yeah, sorry, I add some of this. Um, I just pepper. say cayenne, okay. cayenne pepper for a little um bit of heat. I yeah. already have it um there in the mixture. And if you have some parsley or some paprika in your um in your cabinet at home, you can mm -hmm. you can add that you know as you go along. Before you add the egg, if you want you you can well, you look like right. you could need no, it. Yeah, let's let's go over to Marvin really quickly. What's nice. the update? Uh, what's what's currently taking place with Grace uh, 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 as it relates to the deals? Uh, well, over at uh, Grace, uh, like I've mentioned last two weeks, we have our uh, Grace and Lent promotion, no? Yes. Whereby you buy one of our great uh, our Grace uh, tuna in mm -hmm. light in water. You don't have to um, tuna shredded or, or um, chunk. chunk. Mm -hmm. You buy the uh, mackerel, sardine, or coconut water, mm -hmm. or uh, coconut milk powder. Mm -hmm. And you just write your name on the rack, your name and your number, mm -hmm. and you can WhatsApp it into 670 6707. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you could win yourself a short cation for four at yes, a selected uh, hotel. Huh? So when you say the wrap, you mean the label. Correct. The, yes, label. the label on the tuna can right there. Correct. So if you purchase uh, any one of these tuna cans there, write your name on the label and you take a picture of it and, and you send it to a number. 670 6707. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And that's also the mackerel. Correct. Yeah. So the idea is the more wraps you have, the more chance you the have. The more chances you have. And that's really just an inexpensive way to really go on a staycation because right. tuna and mackerel, they're not they're not expensive, you right, know? Right. And of course, we're showing you how you can make amazing meals with these ingredients as well. Miss V, of course, uh, gave us an opportunity to play around with tuna yes. uh, uh, for the past uh, a few weeks. Yes. We made panades, we're making tuna cakes. I think we even made something else before, but I can't remember. Yeah. Sabrina, so what we've done so far, uh, yeah. Since uh, you guys are over there talking about that amazing uh, promotion, yes. we added some color to it by Ooh. way of the uh, veggies, yes. the sauté yes. veggies. So you see the green, you see the uh, orange, and the, and the, the onions, yeah. and then we added the cheese as well. Oh, yummy! And we added that mixture of seasoning. Yes. Now uh, I'm kind of skeptical about this addition which mm -hmm. is eggs mm -hmm. so we're gonna add raw eggs mm -hmm. into our meal you yeah. sure you want to do that because we're gonna cook it okay all right, all right. <laughs> we're gonna cook it but yeah. if, if you want you can you can cook it yeah. at this point I, right right, right. But I then, can see that. listen 
you don't want it to fall apart. Ah. Yeah. You know, you want it to stay together. You know, like it's like a, you can even say a tuna pate is a tuna yeah. cake. Right. But Man, then again, I love how this is beginning to feel like a dough. It yeah. looks like you didn't need. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So we add two eggs. Ooh. We add two eggs. You can add one, mm -hmm. like um, if you want, if you're just doing one kind of of, of tuna. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then we start this in again. Yes, yeah. because then we want the egg to mix. Okay, now yes. I'm starting yes. to get it. Uh -huh. Now we'll also be making something over here, but this time it's for the kids. Uh, we've been making some yummy cocktails, uh, but we wanted to also showcase that we can create something for the kids that will be enjoying their Easter holidays as well. I know today is the last day of school, and then after that it's spring break or Easter break. So uh, for you families that are looking to whip up something uh, unique and fun for the Kids, Marvin, what will we be making today? I heard it's something Moana related. Yeah, today we'll be making a Moana mango carrot Hawaiian tropical food. All right, all right. Now, now, how do we do this? Um, we would add the the ice to the to the jigger, mm -hmm. and then we would add uh, four ounces of each one of the ingredients that we have here. Okay. We then shake it, uh, rim the glasses, and. Okay, Easy. well let's start. So, I was told that we, we could uh, fancy up our glass. Correct, correct. Now, how, do you, do you have to put this put on it? Put the corn syrup, yes. No, you don't you need, need the, the lime. Oh, okay. the, um, the corn syrup that we have there. You know I don't make drinks. <laughs> <laughs> then you use the, um, the sand and sugar. I All didn't right, even so see that corn syrup in the farm. Oh, that's already so pretty. Oh. All right, you want to come in here a little bit, Marvin? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look yeah, at that. So cute. Alrighty. You come in a little bit here more. So, I honestly, Miss V is training you to be a full-on bartender. <laughs> By the time the year is over, you'll be, you'll have a whole lineup of drinks. I'm curious to know, what would the Marvin drink be? It's, you in, know? it's in the making. It's in the making, and of course it includes Grace product. Correct. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so... So it's four ounces of the Hawaiian fruit punch. Okay. I know kids love that. Right. There and we, honestly, I do too. I like it. I remember doing that as a kid. Or our Grace coconut water. Yummy. It should be uh, four ounces as well. And honestly, I would appreciate that even today. The temperatures are, right. are expecting to be really, really high. Yeah. Look at that cake over there. That's a giant one. That That's a giant there. one. My first one uh, wasn't uh, quite the size and dimension that, that we needed. That is so cool. So I'm going yeah. a bit we have the, uh, the mango carrot uh, tropical rhythm. Guys, I have to tell you, get this. It's so good. I personally love everything mango. But oh, you've had that before? I've had it numerous times. my first time seeing it. This yeah. is amazing, Paul. Yeah. I could drink this just like that. That's <laughs> a fairly new true. product from, yeah, from Grace. We, and it we, comes in three, right? right? We have three different flavors. We have the mango carrot, we have the fruit punch, and we also have the guava carrot. Mm -hmm. All right. My personal favorite is the mango carrot. Mango carrot. Yeah. This so this is an interesting this. pairing here. Fruit punch, mango, carrots, coconut water. Mm -hmm. right. And that equals a Moana drink. I love how you're marketing this drink here. You just have to say <laughs> Moana and the kid <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want the Moana. Yeah. <laughs> Make it for their well and chill at the poolside with yeah. you guys' parents because then again. Then we shake it. Yeah, right. people. Yep. Yep. Shake it. Good, good, good. No, it's like they feel, you know. That's, that's a, you look like a true bartender. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Do we add ice in this? Uh, no, no, it's okay. just the, that's the, that's the liquid. Yeah. Okay, got you. So, Sabrina, what all have you added over there in that drink, if you could recall? Okay, so uh, <laughs> my memory, uh, if my memory serves me right, it, it's uh, fruit punch, Hawaiian fruit punch, tropical rhythm, mango carrot, uh, agua de coco, coconut water, and um, ice. That's it. Uh, I can't tell you the exact measurements, so go back. <laughs> but for you uh, moms that are trying to also enjoy the drink for yourself, you can add a little... Yeah, something, something. Add something in it, too. A little vodka, maybe. <laughs> a little add tequila. tequila in it. Yeah, tequila. <laughs> and then it's officially uh, an adult drink, too. Yeah. But of course, you can't enjoy your Easter holiday drinks without a cute little umbrella. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now it's Easter, pal. Yeah. <laughs> They can put a little lime oh, wow. yeah. on it. And you know, it's just yeah, to let them feel, feel like they're, you know, they're you can put the, it on a part the lime. of the other. Oh, you put it on the lime? You can. So, so, so can guys, see you see, I don't make drinks. <laughs> <laughs> you buy drinks. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh oh. I don't even so buy chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh it's... my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. So we just gotta be careful with the flipping, right? Oh yes, that's so cute. That's so right. cute. Okay, there's your line. There we go. Our fancy straw for them. Oh wow, yeah, chilling in the beach chair, you know. Even at home. That's lovely. That's so That's, cute. I love, look I at love those the look look at that. Let me get yeah. you a plate. So we're going to bring you back over here a little bit because what we've done is we've taken uh, the butter that we've prepared with the tuna and the veg and everything in between and mm -hmm. we've kind of made some balls. I started with a big ball <laughs> and then I realized that it's too big, uh, it's too big because yeah. we wanted to fry through and through and yeah. so right. I went into the smaller one and then chef came over here and helped me with the breading yeah. and then yeah, you take the ball and you flatten it a little bit yeah give it a shape like a kick give it a shape like a kick yeah. and you know the good thing that i'm noticing is that with the uh, breading oh, and yeah. with the uh, eggs it's really firm and mm -hmm. it stays together yeah, so it's yeah. not falling apart yeah and here you're you're not uh, deep frying it. No. Right? So it's no. not a lot of oil no. used in the pot and that's yeah. a good thing. Yep. Right. You fry on each side for like three to four um four minutes and um if you're someone that into heat you can even add um jalapenos. Ooh. Jalapeno oh yeah. my gosh. Because yes. it's the potato that's it's a next the level. tuna. Come on to me I look at it like a meal right there. Right. Yeah, you know, you and know. maybe it's things that you have right in your in your pantry. If you don't have the um the pure the papa go and get it. Yeah. If you have potato in the house Boil it, is, mash it, and let's. You know what I would. You know what I would happen. do to this to take it another level. I'd probably add some more cheese on, on it when it's finished. When while it's hot, you yeah. just add some more cheese. And if you want to take the pepperoni, you add the pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> you I thought you would say that. You know, you know, the tuna. You know, the tuna. It's a full uh, on pizza. It is a full on tuna pizza cake. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, they won't be what it is, right? But yeah. then again, add whatever you. Whatever you wish, mm -hmm. whatever you wish. And, you and the good thing is that most it. of the ingredients that you've used are already cooked, mm -hmm. right? So yep. the tuna, yep. the potato, everything is cooked. And it's in. not supposed to be too crispy, guys. Ah. So you might say, oh, it's not cooked, but then remember it's the potato. That, yes, those look so yes. good. Those look so good. All right, well, as we wrap up here, uh, Marvin, remind us again about those deals uh, and, uh, of course, uh, the deadline for it. Okay, so um, the, the promotion runs up to April 30th, mm -hmm. so uh, it's the Grace and You uh, promotion whereby you purchase any one of our Grace chunk light, mm -hmm. uh, Grace shredded, mm -hmm. or, uh, mackerel or sardine, or coconut water, or uh, Grace uh, coconut milk powder. Just write your name and your number on the, on the wrapper. Mm -hmm. uh, you text it, it will accept it to 673 and you could be lucky one of a, a you could be the lucky winner of a short tea shop of four at the selected uh, hotel. A oh, short tea nice. shop for four. <laughs> Imagine, right. and all you have to do is buy the, the the very same things that you probably already buy Correct. and yep. just write some I information you to on the wrapper. Lift up the drink so Of just course, we're going to bring it over the there. Look at it. Oh, you're going to bring it over this. here. Yeah. That looks so good. I love the color combination. Yeah, it's so pretty. The blue, the red, the orange. The now, green. Marvin, I, I, I'm i glad you made me feel a lot better because you are struggling there with your um, umbrella tool. Right. So let's see if I can redeem yeah. oh, this our good. work. This looks really good, Miss V. I have to say. We'll settle for that. Thank you. Man, this look like this look like something we come out of a five-star uh, restaurant. Oh, Sabrina. yeah, that looks so good. Look at that! If you, all with great products. If mm -hmm. you would only know how cost efficient this really is. Yeah, we right? can do that one of these days. Yeah. Try to calculate mm -hmm. what that meal costs. Nice. Yeah. And 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 you have so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could prepare a lot for a lot of kids. Yeah. Uh, in a short period of time. That's yep. right. Yep. That is. Well, so uh, I have to say, as always, Miss V, thank you so much for yeah. allowing us to cook up a storm in the kitchen and of course include our viewers and show them just how many things you can make with the very same ingredients yes. they probably have in their cabinets at home. Yeah, that's right. And also thank you uh, Marvin for uh, allowing me to help you make a, a little kids cocktail too. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is called the Moana uh, Fruit Punch a drink. So yes. if you would like to make this drink all you need is the very same ingredients that we provided right there. Yes. But we got to take another quick break. And when we come back, we have more Open Your Eyes. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
We all know about the phasing out of single-use plastics and the enactment of pollution from the plastics regulations. One of the key components in this regulation states that for an item to be considered biodegradable, it must consist of more than 50% of bio-based content. Here, you will find out how the Department of the Environment determines what items meet the criteria and what equipment is being used to guide that process. Since 2019, the Department of the Environment has been working with CFAS in doing a microplastics. Through this project, CFAS has donated two microscope Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy equipment to strengthen capacities on monitoring and enforcement to reduce marine litter and plastic pollution. The FTR can be used to identify unknown materials. The Department of the Environment will use the equipment to determine the composition of single-use plastics and biodegradable products to enforce the environmental protection, pollution from plastics regulations. While we have a long way to go with the implementation of the pollution from plastics regulation, having this equipment is one step closer. For more information on what's being done about biodegradables and ways you can help, visit our website at www.doe.gov.bz. Unwrap the joy of crystal clear picture and sound from Iowa, the brand that offers you affordability and exceptional quality. Iowa has a wide range of exceptional products to choose from, such as TVs, speakers, headphones, home appliances, and much more at affordable prices that won't break the bank. Enhance your audio visual entertainment experience with Iowa. And for your convenience, parts are readily available in country for hassle-free maintenance. You can find Iowa products at your local electronics store countrywide. Choose Iowa, the best in home entertainment and household appliances. Hi, my name is Lincoln Forrest and I work at UMAL. 100% I will recommend Belize Bank Mobile Banking to everyone because it saves time, money, and gas price because gas price is high right now. Belize Bank Mobile Banking just make life easier. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Do you have information about a crime or a fugitive in our community? You can submit a tip anonymously with your smartphone using this program in safeguarding our community also protects your identity, keeping you out of the court system and could earn you a cash reward. Here is how it works. Download the free P3 Tips app from the Apple Store or Android Market. P3 is the provider of our secure anonymous tip collecting software. Open the app and create a PIN, but be sure to remember that number, then select your location. Next, select the type of crime. When submitting a tip, be as specific as possible. If you have a picture, video or audio that will help officers, you can upload them from your phone. Information leading to an arrest can earn you a cash reward of up to $1,000. Once your tip is submitted, you'll be given a tip ID and password. Check back if your tip leads to an arrest. You'll be told how much you were rewarded and how to anonymously collect your cash. What did you mean earlier about climate change, Mom? Well, when I was your age, I remember beautiful coral reefs and healthy beaches. The summers weren't as hot as they are right now, and the rainy season meant that it only rained when it was supposed to. And then what happened? The weather just started to change, and storms got worse, 
coral reefs started to die because the ocean was getting too warm and crops started to die because there was not much rain. You know, we realized as adults that we were doing something that was causing this. What were you all doing? The same thing we're doing now. Not using clean, renewable energy, chopping down too many trees, and even polluting the air with gases, such as the gases emitted from our cars when we drive around. We need to help before it's too late, Mom. We can't let it get worse. What can I do? We can raise our voices. With 35 million dreams, aspirations, and futures at risk in Cari Forum, we need your voice in our story against climate change. Acknowledge. Commit. Act. This message is brought to you by the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center under the Intra-ACP Global Climate Change Alliance Plus program and is funded by the European Union. experiencing family violence, call 0800 for way out. Or you can text or WhatsApp to 672-9628. Welcome back to our show for this morning. This is our second conversation, and it's all about the It's At STEAM Academy, and we have students here from the Academy. Uh, they recently triumphed in a Lego competition, and so they're here to display their skills, their talents, tell us uh, what they've learned, uh, what the experience has been like, and we might actually have one of the hosts uh, constructing or trying to construct uh, some Lego uh, equipment or do engage in some Lego engineering. Yeah. But with that, we have uh, Miss Christine Koch, who is a teacher and mentor to these students. We have uh, Jazia Morales, who is a student uh, at ITSA. Melanie Arias, who is also a student, as well as Duan Lachman. Good morning to Good all morning, four of guys. you. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to see what we'll be uh, displaying here this morning. All right. So, uh, first of all, Teach, let's get right to you. Tell us a bit about uh, this competition, uh, who organized it, uh, and a bit about your teams and your students' performance in it. Sure, no problem. So, the first LEGO League competition is a competition that is hosted by the Belize High School. Yeah. And they, it, I think it was in February, they brought over a Lego kit, which is basically some of the items are here on the table. Presented it and said, okay, so you need to solve this mission. You, wow. need, to, you need to build these things. Mm -hmm. And it was similar to this. Here you go, start building. Yeah. Okay. And, and so the team, um, we have Duan, who's a really good builder. And so he'll be showcasing that skill today. He 
start building robots and if you notice we have some posters at the front mm -hmm. and right. that showcases the the iteration process mm -hmm. we built one robot we, we broke it down back it was about seven robots that we built until we finally got to this version here mm -hmm. which is um what's the name of our robot isa so they call isa it's isa but uh -huh. they, they they give it a little uh twist so it's isa our robot but it started off from just being wow. simple like this and then eventually because of the numerous iterations they then mastered how to build something no like this. i want to take a step back teach because the truth is this is what this academy was built for yeah. Correct. this is what it was made for and to see this become a reality and these types of students being able to engage in these types of activities is surreal to me. Oh, yes. I, I think that, that it's, it's something that's also surreal to me. We, I, I guess we went to similar concepts yeah. of high schools. Yeah. Yeah. And now being the vice principal of this school allows for me to look at education from a different perspective mm -hmm. and provide that for my students. Mm -hmm. we, we have something called seminars, and that was something that, is unique to our, our academy mm -hmm. and these guys the three right here and others were the ones who initially started that seminars where we did not have necessarily the kits and we built from cardboard and we were cutting and we were coding micro bits and so when we got these legos it was like okay time for more fun and mm -hmm. so yes it is surreal mm -hmm. and we just continue yeah i think i think the bigger picture as well though is that this is we are looking at a representation of a of an institution that is designed to serve students that are interested in stem in science technology uh engineering and mathematics and that's amazing because we are watching that on display right here i think of things like legos that babies are now playing with and I can barely even put something like this <laughs> together. So I'm actually really interested to see what will take place this morning. But I want to I wanna touch really quickly on how the school uh, is highlighting being more digital. Of course, uh, our viewers would know that we've had the Ministry of Education here on set with us talking about their MORE campaign, which is an uh, initiative to encourage schools to do more or essentially highlight schools that are doing more. Now, they are, uh, they are outlined by five pillars, being more digital, being more inclusive, being more healthy, being more uh, creative and innovative, and I can't remember the other one. But this is an example of being more digital. Right. Now, the reason why we have you guys here on set this morning is because you guys are being highlighted as a school that is obviously being more digital, and that's what we are trying to promote here today. That is correct. So that they had approached me and said, your school has been one of the, the schools that have been submitting a lot of submissions. Mm -hmm. And again, because we are STEAM oriented, mm -hmm. so technology just comes almost natural to us. Mm -hmm. And it so happens that we won the first Lego League competition. And so that's what we're going to showcase today. All right. So I heard that uh, someone will be building something. But just before we get into that, Let's, uh, let's bring in some of the students into the conversation. Uh, let's, let's get two of our ladies here in the middle. I want to know from you guys personally why you wanted to be a part of this school. I wanted to be a part of this school because I saw this school with more opportunities of, of work fields that I would want to join in mm -hmm. the future on later in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you like science in general? Do you like everything that is STEAM related? Yes, I really love science mm -hmm. and I love technology. And then I think together, those two subjects are really awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you want to be when you grow up? I would want to be an architect okay. or an engineer. Okay. And you, my friend, uh, why did you want to be a part of this school? Well, I would also like to be an architect. And this school was more targeted to my kind of like way and I was raised with technology so I really I really liked this opportunity she said something really critical there she said she was raised with technology and really almost all the babies these days are raised with technology so it's interesting to see how that uh, transition is uh, really paving a way for our kids to want to infuse themselves entirely into uh, steam now we have Duan here with us and he is uh, the engineer this morning of the legos but i want to ask you first why did you want to be a part of this school i wanted to be a part of this school because it's um an unreal experience miss we, um 
the first set of students here will be the will go down in history mm -hmm. of the first students and they will basically um lead the way, right? Yes, lead the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. And go ahead. And um be role models to the other students. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And and that's that's so important because we're looking at a school that's building as they go along. Uh, these uh, kids here they represent uh, the first level, which would be freshman or or first form, mm -hmm. but. That's all we have right now. We only have first form students, correct? Correct. Yeah. And as they progress, we're building the other forms or we're, we're adding the other forms. That is correct. Right now we have 64 lovely students who are all first formers and then they will be moving up to second form and then we'll be taking in, right now applications are open for another 75 mm -hmm. and then they will be joining our first form Yeah, this, this makes me want to go back to high school <laughs> I know. all I know. over I know again. that all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. real. Uh, yeah. I want to ask you really quickly though, Miss Christian, because you said that you guys will be taking in 75. Is it intentional to have a selected amount of students every school year yes it is because we we want to keep our classrooms about 20 to 25 students we don't we, we think that that's a good ratio to teacher to student ratio um and plus the school the capacity is 300 so we can't be taking numerous mm -hmm. amounts of students mm -hmm. so 75 is what we have right now All right, that's a target number well let's get into some building um Duan. I was told that you're going to be guiding me through uh, making my very own robot this morning. I hope I could name it at the end. I, I think I could do well at naming it, but we'll see how good I'm at at building it. So where do we start? And then somebody's um, going to be over here doing some coding. Yeah, we're going to be programming uh, what we're building too, I was told. So this is going to be a whole new experience for both of us, I, I imagine, Paul. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch on on this side. All right, so <laughs> let's, let's jump into it. Where do we begin? First, we begin with the hub. Mm -hmm. It's basically the brain of the robot. Okay. N now these are motors. Okay. These motors connect to the robot to make the wheels move. Okay. These are basically stuff that makes the robot balance. Okay. And be leveled, okay. and it's um, immobilizes the robot. Too. Okay. Yes. And these, what are these? These are basically stuff to connect the the, the parts, parts together. To okay. Together. Got it. Well. Yes. Let's begin. How do I start? Or you just want me to do it, Anne? Yeah, you can do it. What? No, I so can't do it. So you just give her a no, creative freedom to do whatever. I didn't even picture. <laughs> I don't think Sabrina played with Legos as a child. No, so I did not. I was her. not that a part of that Sabrina, generation. Sabrina, you have to connect. Connect. No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Fail. No, guide me through it. At least right. show me one side and I'll so, do the next side all right. one. All right. <laughs> So you need these parts to connect. Yes, um, connect. Yes. Here, at the top here? I suggest you do it at the bottom. Okay. Yes. But what if I flip this over? Okay. Second time embarrassment right. is real. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. Guys. You're doing good, Sabrina. You're doing Thank good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. After this. All right. So you want nice. to put the brain of the robot onto the, basically the frame. Mm -hmm. This little frame can hold up everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you want to align them up with the... With that? Yeah. No, with the bottom. With the bottom? The stones, studs, yeah. Yes. It really is like building a Lego, but it's way more advanced than just a Lego toy. Okay, right. next. So now you want to attach the motors um, mm -hmm. with the same pieces. So... You turn it around at the back. Let's see. Alright. It's not going in. Okay, there we go. There right. we go. No. That's only one. Okay, yeah. here's the next one. No, that one. Wow. Okay. Now, you see how cars has four wheels? Mm hmm This will only have two. Mm hmm These will be um stuff that level it. Levels okay. it. So these these will go at the back. Down here or up here? Down. But it doesn't want to... Yeah. I can't right. rock my car, people. <laughs> okay. And Next then turn side. it in the, the same way. Yeah, the same no, way. The same, same thing. Way. Mm -hmm. the same thing. the side. Uh -huh. There you All go. Alright. Now you will want to take the stuff that will level the whole thing mm -hmm. and you want to use the same gray connectors 
<laughs> Where do you put that? It, it'll, it'll go right here. Uh huh. Yeah. At the top yeah, here? At the top. All right. Yeah. And do the same thing for the next one. Okay. And then I put it here? Yeah. N center it. Yeah. There? No, no. Uh, in the bottom right here. Aligned with those two. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Now yeah. I understand. Yeah, we're almost yes. finished. So clearly. All right. Now, <laughs> now you want to get the wheels. Oh, look at my robot already, guys. This is looking impressive. All right. Now you want to get the wheels. Okay. And um, I need to connect it with something here or yeah, this. The, those, the okay. axle, basically. The axles, yes. yeah. The axles. I, I think my car have an axle, you know. Yep. But I don't know, does it look like this? No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Way so, more different. So Put it in here? Yeah. See, I knew that without him telling me that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then Congrats. it goes in the middle like yeah, that? Yeah, it goes in here. Okay. Wow. All right, then the same thing with Looking the good. Yeah. yeah. I know what I'm doing, Paul. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay. All right. Look at that, guys. Wow. Now you want to work on the cable management now. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> Have you ever cable done management? cable management? No. <laughs> All right. So you want to plug it in the the D connector and the C connector. Yep. What's the D connector and the C connector? Those are the connectors, D. Sabrina. Okay. The D <laughs> and the C. <laughs> I love that Paul is actually like the other <laughs> idea I was taking this. <laughs> I love it. I didn't even see that there. Okay. Why didn't I put it in the A connector or the because, B connector? Because the motor is blocking the A connector. But you can. It's I could optional. have used the F or the E? Yeah, it's optional. See, I knew that, Paul. Yeah, good. Okay. All right. Now, we want to get the beige pieces, mm -hmm. which will help you with the um, cable management pieces. Yeah, so it will go right up here, so then you wrap it like this, so it doesn't get caught up in the wheels. Oh, so that's just the cable management. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't really do anything in terms of yeah. operation. So I just put this in here? <laughs> yeah, on this side. Yes, yes. I love that fall is... Wait. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I knew that, sorry. All right, then those pieces will... Um, Basically, you manage the whole wire. So you have to slide in the wire into those. Like the both of them? No, um, only one. Like that? Yeah. Then you put it in this piece. But is it supposed to be difficult Wait. to put on? <laughs> no. Wait, first, you have to um, stick it on first. Okay. And then you want to slide it in. Mm. Like that. How long does it take you to, to build something like this? Or, or how long did it take you to build this for the first time? Um, less than 10 minutes. He just he just built that this morning to come and show you. How oh, really? Yes. Wait. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I could do this in less than and 10 minutes And then there's one too. final part. Let yeah. her guess what that part, where that part goes. That's a good, um, okay. This looks like this goes on the... All right, tell her. On the brakes, on the brakes here. Yeah. I put wow. it here. Wow! Oh. Woo! Well done, well done. <laughs> so, Jazia, take it over. All right, so now... Uh, I said it looks like it goes on the brakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let, so the real, real. let the real scientists over here <laughs> take over. Yes, yes. Now, yeah. now you take over, Paul. Yeah, okay. So what are you going to do now? Okay, so then... I will help you code the robot. Yes, yeah, I will help you code the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so you turn it on and it connects automatically to your program. You have to turn on the Bluetooth and connect it. Oh, it's a Bluetooth. Yes. Ah, that's nice. Wow. Uh, when we were when we were kids, Paul, we were playing with uh, anything outside. We were playing yeah. playing with, with twigs and stuff, and they're playing with robots. All right, so, so a lot is happening here, guys. Um, basically connected through Bluetooth. Has it connected already? Yes. Yes, so it's connected already. All right. And what are you going to do so now? So what would you like to make the robot do? Move forward or turn? Let it move forward first. Okay. All right. 
So the first block you would need to use is the movement block. It's really easy. But okay. first, since right. you set the motors to C and D, you have to select the one that has that set movement motors. Okay. Before you make it move, I want to turn around, I turn around the laptop. So set it up before it to move, and then I'll turn around the laptop so that they could see um, what you have set up here. And then you could briefly explain what it is that you have on this uh, have on here. So they're gonna bring in the camera and tell us what what's here for what our viewers. Did. Tell us what you just did. It's a simple code that says practically when the program starts, the robot is supposed to set the movement motors to C and D and then move forward. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the simple code. You see how simple that is, uh, viewers? That's very simple. I yeah, no idea we, we know. <laughs> All right, Nothing and so this is the setup. You can turn it back around and let's see what that does. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. One more time. Oh my gosh, look at that! And that I built that, Paul. You did. You my did. blood, sweat, and tears you went did. into that right there. And so basically, you built it and you use your program to control it. And Bluetooth connects it and, and the, the brain is controlled through here. Can you do something else? What else can it do? It can turn. It can turn, let's see it turn. Right. Oh my gosh. How, how, how long did it take for you to get a hold of this or, or how difficult was it for you to learn this? There's actually tutorials on the same app to help you and guide you code. Mm -hmm. So this is an app that you use to, to, yes. to allow it to move? Yes. Wow, that's really interesting. Okay, so let's do one more thing with it. Uh, what else can we do? You can, there's actually a display on the front. There is a display on the front. So you can display some kind of little thing. Okay, can you decide what it will display? Okay. So, let's a see. I can display a, little, display a little smiley face. Mm -hmm. And that's at the top here. Yeah, so show, oh, show yeah, it to shows. the camera. It, it's already Wait, off. One second. Look at that. Oh, wow. Can you type in words? Or er, not yet? It's a more complicated code, but yes, you could. Okay, it's a more complicated code, but you can. Okay. Interesting. So, you, so this is basically what you do with the lego uh how how do you see this applying to real life uh, i mean this is real life but in terms of real world situations how do you see is there one way you could see it applying to real world situations at this point yeah is there anything you think that that this can be useful for in real life are you still working on figuring that part out? Still working on That's that. One hundred percent fine because I'm sure by the time you reach second, third, and fourth farm, you've had you'd, you've have it all figured out, right, Duan? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And so with that, but we can't we can't go without you all telling me a bit about the bigger robot, right? And so I'll bring in my good friend over here. Tell us what is this one and. Uh, a bit more about this. This seems to be a bit more I feel complex. like I could have put that one together on yeah, my own. Yeah, well, that's that's going to take a couple hours for you, so <laughs> you're so not going to focus on that. Yeah. So talk about the robot. Yeah, just tell me a bit about this one. So then we built this robot so it accommodates us to putting on the attachments more faster. So then on competition day, we only have two and a half minutes to get all the missions done as much as possible and get as much points. And we need our attachments to put on quick. Okay. So then we built this design so it also helps us putting the attachments quicker. Mm -hmm. So then when it's on the table, side of the table and the robot's ready, you just hurry attach it on there. Okay. Nice. Wow, yes. right. and, that, and this is what you use for competition? Yes. And do you this guys would command this robot to do some of the very same things that we saw there, yes. right? Yes. Okay. All right. Vice Principal, any final thoughts? I would just encourage more schools to join and be more digital. It is not that complicated in the beginning, just like what you did. This is exactly how you'll feel, mm -hmm. very like frightened for it. But as you go along and iterate, then you'll realize that you can break that down and build it back a little bit more faster yes. and even something e as complex as this. So I would encourage more schools to be more digital. Yes. Oh, All right. 
Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, we can't wait to see what else you'll be showcasing uh, when you come back again, showing how It's at Academy is doing more. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to take another quick break. And when we come back, we're jumping into small business highlighting a female entrepreneur. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Our community health workers are truly the eyes and ears in our community for health. They form an integral part of our health system. They have actually been trained in, for example, picking up um, hypertensives, testing for diabetes, doing health education, improving health literacy in their area, and detecting persons who are ill, and as well following up with that. Community health relies a lot on the support and the technical assistance from our international partners and UNICEF is one of those partners in strengthening the efforts on the ground. They are partnering with us in building the capacity of these community health workers. I am the only one work in this community and my community have 250 households and it's over 1,000 population. So I get up five o'clock. I prepare breakfast. And then I prepare myself to go and do my home visit. Every month I have to do 20 home visits to help people, to help other ladies or to help children. Especially in school, I like to go and do the health education with them. It is important to be a health worker, even though it's, it's a hard time sometimes, I find. They come like any time, but I'm ready to go with them and see what is really happening to them. Many children having high fever and then diarrhea. So they have to leave this village here because it's far. And then sometimes it's raining, sometimes the road is, is very bad. And then not everybody in our village have the transportation. UNICEF supported the government to undertake functionality assessment using the community to work on assessment and improvement matrix, which is a tool for optimizing community to work program. Some of the areas identified to be strengthened following the assessment are currently being supported by UNICEF with funding from the Republic of Korea. These include review of community health worker manual and development of job heads and counseling card to enhance the training and capacity of community health worker to provide relevant primary care services. UNICEF is supported with evidence generation and knowledge management. The critical role community health worker in Belize are playing in achieving universal health coverage. I was interested to help my community and to educate my community with, with the disease that, that we are suffering. Eleven years ago, I faced a very terrible problem. I have a son that died from 15 years. He was in Port Farm. He suffered with dengue. That's why I tell myself when I hear that they need a community health worker in my village, I went to the alcalde and talked about this, that I was interested. They help the people, they are, and sometimes they help the, the teachers, sometimes they help um, BDF. I feel very proud of her because my wife, she worked very hard, especially like now it's very floody and it's muddy. My wife, she's trying her best. 
one of the things that we did recently uh, in terms of community health workers, the, we have increased the salary payment for community health workers, which were $100 to $500. That is for us to ensure that we, we continue to have enough health workers in our communities. Uh, currently, we have 300 active community health workers across the country. And as part of our budget allocation every year, uh, we ensure that at the ministry level, uh, there's adequate funding assigned uh, to, uh, to the health education unit in the ministry. And myself as a minister, we take our community health workers very seriously. Uh, and we appreciate the work that they have done throughout this country. In fact, they are at the front line uh, uh, for any issues uh, that related to any health matters within their community. So we, we give them kudos and we thank them for their service. I'm connected. Yo. I'm connected. We're connected. Create the perfect broadband bundle that fits your style with Smart Connect. With the Junior Bundle, get 50% off your national calls and up to 6 gigabytes of data at no extra cost. Get postpaid added for an additional cost of only $25 with the Prime Bundle. Stay connected with unlimited smart-to-smart -smart calls plus 6,300 megabytes of data and free international minutes. For the family, pay $28.13 more and get the Binge Watchers Bundle with Netflix. This bundle gives you four profiles with unlimited streaming on multiple devices. Visit a showroom near you to sign up and personalize your own bundle combination with Smart Connect. Smart, bringing people together. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Taking its name from the venerable father of the nation, the George Price Highway stretches 77 miles from Belize City to Benque Viejo. Originally built in the 1930s, this cross-country highway system is the artery that links Belize to Central America at the western border with Guatemala. That connection facilitates overland trade, supporting Belize's economic development. Winding its way across the scenic countryside, the George Price Highway, from Roaring Creek to Esperanza, has been fully reconstructed to meet international standards, with particular emphasis on road safety. A shorter and hassle-free commute is best enjoyed when everyone obeys the traffic laws. To reduce the number and frequency of road traffic accidents, it means that a seatbelt must be worn at all times and the speed limit observed when traveling along the highway. It also means that pedestrians must use sidewalks and crosswalks where available. Buses should only board and discharge passengers at a designated bus stop. Road safety is everyone's responsibility. It begins with you. What does family mean to you? Form a strong bond with your family. Hey sis. Hey sis, how is friends? Always remember, it's so they may not be in the same place. Coffee and friends, huh? Hiya! Make the time you spend together fun and memorable.
Ignore the petty differences. Love them while you still can. Life can be short. You can be the glue that keeps them together. Family. Meaningful always. Welcome back. We are having our third segment this morning, and it's all about women in jiu-jitsu. This morning, we are joined by the Prevail Combat Club, and they'll be showcasing a, a series of some drills on how women can, one, uh, defend themselves, but also learn some jiu-jitsu uh, uh, drills and routines that will also enable their confidence as well. We are joined by instructor Mario and uh, we have here with us Samantha who will be showcasing some of those uh, very same activities this morning. I want to say good morning guys morning. and thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's jump really quickly into jiu-jitsu for women. Why is it important for women to learn a bit more about this? Um, well, I personally believe that even though jiu-jitsu doesn't sell self-defense, it would give you an advantage if you're in a situation that could potentially harm you. Mm -hmm. um, I also think it's important too because naturally women have been led to believe that they're less than men or they're weaker than men. Mm -hmm. And so having jiu-jitsu as a hobby or even doing it professionally can give you that confidence to say that I can protect myself. And uh, why did you decide to join jiu-jitsu? Initially, I decided to join because I just wanted a little hobby, mm -hmm. but then I, I really got into it. Yeah. And I noticed how much it's helped me, not only with my physical, but also with my mental. Yeah, so you joined jiu-jitsu last month in February. Uh, how's it been going so far? Um, I've actually made a lot of progress in just the two months. Okay. At first, you'll notice that maybe um, you feel a little timid and everything's moving slow, but once you actually get into it, you move fast yeah. and you learn a lot. So has your instructor been Mario the entire time? Yes. So Mario, tell me about uh, your experience when meeting Samantha. What was that like and how has it progressed to what it is now? Well, um, first she was shy, mm -hmm. you know, timid, but... Um, through the time she has gained her confidence. Um, at first, um, of course, jiu-jitsu is very intimate, and at first she was like, well, yeah. but really guarded herself with me being close to her. Mm -hmm. But as we went by, she, she became more comfortable. I could have more work techniques with her Right. Um, with, between two of us. Mm -hmm. So definitely her confidence has grown. And one thing I've noticed is that um, when we're training and um, I'm teaching them techniques, she points out, she's like my woman translator to the other females, ah. you know. Um, certain things maybe I'm not getting across to the other females and she would like, oh, it's this you have to do and this you have to do. Like she, she, she becomes like a translator and the, the other females would, would understand more what I am saying. Mm -hmm. So she's clearly understanding the techniques. Wonderful. Well, we do have an opportunity this morning to showcase some of those techniques to our viewers this morning. Uh, if uh, someone comes in to uh, the club and they decide, hey, I want to learn jujitsu as a female, what would be the first thing that you would recommend for them? Or what would be the first uh, drill or, or technique that would take uh, place? The first one would probably be um, a chop and roll. How okay. to get from when someone is on top of you, mm -hmm. how to turn the situation around and you end up in on top of them. So that's the first one that will be taught to them. All right. Well, let's see that uh, this right. morning. Okay. So um, we prepared a couple of scenarios that, that strings along some of the techniques that she has learned. Mm -hmm. um, you will notice the chop and roll will be implemented in it, okay? Okay. So um, we start here. Um, should I explain it? Or yeah, just? sure, if you okay. can. Okay, so going slow, okay, normally all fights start standing up. Yeah. And most people who are, f who are just fighting off the streets, they will throw wild punches, like wide looping punches. She protected her face, she came in, mm -hmm. and now she's pulling my hip in to break my posture, and now she will take me down. Okay. Wow. Now she, she's on top monk now. She's, a, she's being, she's, she's protecting herself, and mm -hmm. I try to get her off. She keeps her base on, I try mm -hmm. to push her off, she keeps this on. Mm -hmm. 
See, I try to push her. You know, I try to, I try to, try to get her out. But this is a difficult position for most people to get yes. out. And see here, she's up in the on me. Now, now Mario, you are genuinely struggling there, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because she's maintaining her base on top of yeah, me. Yeah, because she right? took you off your feet there, man. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, this is this. This is her being on top of me and she's controlling her situation. Yes. And more than likely, whenever you have an attacker, they, you want to control them on the ground. You want yes. to be able to pin them down. So with those simple techniques, she was able to, to pin me down and keep me there at bay. If she, and depending on the threat or her bad threat, she can actually have a submission where at last she, if, if you, you could go back She again. looked like she was going to break your yeah. arm. Yeah, she did an Americana oh. mm -hmm. here. Where she could have broken my arm if, yep. if she had continued without me. Wow, I before can see that. Copy. That does not look comfortable. Okay. <laughs> the second one, we. It's wow. Real. It's a reverse. That was good. Right? <laughs> it's a reverse if I'm on top of her now. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm here and I am attacking her. Maybe I'm hitting her in the face. Or choking her. So she's even or attempting choking her. to choke her. Yeah, I can choke her too. But here I'm. She's. Pulling up herself on me. Now this is a trap and roll right here that she's implementing. Woo! Woo! Go there. Now she's on top. She's controlling my hips. She will make a pass. There she goes. There is a same thing where she's still. Yeah, same position. She to get in that position yeah, because to, she has uh, the majority of the yeah. control. And then like for example here, like say if I push her up, she keeps herself down and then Eventually, like, I'm here down here and say, you know what, I cannot take her off me. The natural thing would be for me to start to turn. Mm. So I start to turn my body. I turn. She allows me to turn. She doesn't stop me from turning because she knows what she wants to do next, right? Okay. And this is, I think this is one of the best positions for to finish any, any fight or any confrontation. Mm -hmm. So she allows me to turn and when I'm trying to get on my feet, she takes my back. Wow. She, she sticks herself to me, so if I hear and I shake her off, it's hard to She, she shake is stuck her off. like glue. Yeah, she's like stuck like a little spring chicken. <laughs> right? Wow. And then um, if I fall on my side or anything I can do, right? So for right now, if I fall on my side, she can finish off with a... Yeah, you definitely really couldn't, could show, you right? couldn't say anything. <laughs> that was so impressive. <coughs> wow, Samantha. So these are just some of the things that you yeah. learned. And I could see that you were confident. You knew exactly what you're going to do next. Uh, and you were able to take on Mario, who yeah. looks like a giant next yeah. to you, really. <laughs> right? Um, we have other techniques that we, we have been training recently. Because, like for example, March, um, every Saturday, we were offering free sessions to mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. And it was mostly safe, self-defense based. Um, you know, like giving the hair grab. Mm -hmm. You know, um, chokes when they choke in you and mm -hmm. all of that. So um, she has learned a lot, a lot of stuff. So is that still open to the public? Uh, if anyone is interested for and them. would like to try out and see if it's something that's for them. Yeah, actually, tomorrow we'll be having a. A seminar with a female black belt. Oh wow! Okay. Um, it's free of cost. Um, we still have some spaces available, mm -hmm. so they can um, message me or call me at six three four seven one forty, and to reserve their space, um, it will be from nine thirty in the morning, right at Trivial Combat Club at Bullet Two Thousand. Um, it will be an awesome event. I mean, um, we are going to learn from a from a black belt, a female yeah. black belt who will speak woman language. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. and she, she, she's very um, capable of what she, she, she knows yeah. her stuff and everything, you know, so I'm excited to see you. Yeah. And uh, how, many, how many women are you hoping to have there at uh, the event? Okay, we're catering for like 25 to 30 women. Okay. So far we have um, like 24 or 25 women who oh, have wow. signed up Okay, already. so you definitely want to take advantage of yes, the little definitely. space that is yes. left. Well, thank you so much, Mario, for showcasing that. I want to also uh, give you an opportunity to share with our viewers, both men and women, if they're interested in taking part in uh, 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 jujitsu and joining the Prevail Combat Club, how can they do so? Okay, um, again, uh, to join Prevail Combat Club, you can um, either go onto Facebook, look up um, Prevail Combat Club, um, send us a message, we'll send you all the, the sign-up forms, whatever, mm -hmm. or 
you can call me at 634-7140. Mm -hmm. You can message me, WhatsApp on that number also. And then, um, or you can just show up at about the 2000 upstairs and yeah. we welcome you with open arms. Huh? Yeah. And any last words, Samantha? You are impressive, girl. <laughs> thank you. I'm just grateful to be here. Yes. I'm oh. very grateful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we can't wait to see what else takes place with Prevail Combat Club. And uh, good luck to both of you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we're going to take our last break. And when we come back, we're jumping into small business with a woman entrepreneur. Stay with us. We'll be right back. and get a chance to win a $10,000 homecation with Benny's quality and savings. This plan, I can't leave this plan. Smart Belize! Hey there, smart thinkers. We're turbocharging your mobile experience with Smart's powered up postpaid plans. Imagine a world where your data speeds flows faster than ever. Well, guess what? We've cranked up the dial and unleashed the postpaid power of smart lightning fast LTE data on all our postpaid plans. That's right, no speed bumps, more data. It's like having a limitless highway of data speed at your fingertips. Whether you're a lone ranger with an individual plan or a squad rolling with a group plan, everyone gets to surf stream and share at enhanced full high quality speed switch to smarts powered up postpaid plans today and ride the wave of postpaid power visit any smart showroom or smart-bz.com for details and make your mobile experience smarter and faster smart bringing people together i know i can't let this plan i can't let this plan from now on, when you visit Uno, you will experience an A-plus power in all fuel. Dynamax Plus, the formula with the ultimate technology in additives, provides an A-plus power and A-plus performance. Dynamax Plus, A-plus power and A-plus performance to reach further with less fuel consumption. Dynamax Plus, available in all fuel. Uno, a different energy. Upcoming enhancements to my social security. The new healthcare provider feature seamlessly connects healthcare providers, insured persons, and employers to facilitate the payment of sickness benefits. Here are the enhancements. Registered healthcare providers will create and submit online medical certificates using their healthcare provider accounts. Insured persons will receive a link to view the medical certificate to complete and submit their sickness benefit claim. And employers will receive an email notification of their employee's sickness claim. Also, the insured person and their employer will receive a copy of the claim decision letter after review. Healthcare providers, insured persons and employers are encouraged to create a portal account to access and benefit from these new services on My Social Security at ssbportal.org.bz. My Social Security Online Portal. New healthcare provider feature coming this March. Social Security at your fingertips. I'm David Humes, this is Vanessa Humes. We own Ladyville Cool Spot. Belize Bank save us a lot of time. Working with them, we can keep track exactly what we spend. But we recommend Belize Bank 100% because we don't have to go to stand up in line and we can check on our, our account right from our house. Working with Belize Bank is the best. We're back 
And we are joined by Naomi Usher, the owner of City Tacos. <laughs> and this morning, Miss Usher will be preparing some stuff jacks yes, for yes, us. Yes, yes, And if you don't know what stuff jack is, it's the stuff of the jacks. jacks. <laughs> and so, Miss Usher, good morning. Good morning. Let's first of all talk a bit uh, briefly about your business. Uh, where is it located? How can people get in contact with you? When did it start? Why did it start? It's a lot of questions. <laughs> Which are the one first? There are anyone you want to start with first? All right. Well, I started my small business um, from the Yabra community, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, whereby I decided to start self food because I believe that when you work for someone else, some people take advantage of your good work. Mm -hmm. So I say, you know what? I like to cook, so let me try start something here in the Yabra where Nobody sells anything, so mm -hmm. I started with some tacos. That's where the name came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, some burgers and salbutes, like bringing some mm -hmm. Spanish food here into yeah. Belize City, because mm -hmm. I'm from Orange Rock. Okay. okay. So, so um, the tacos was fitting? <laughs> actually, it was like fried tacos and like Mexican tacos, okay. I would say. Nice. Mm -hmm. So that's where I came. And then I um, closed there, and then I went to the Mahogany. I wanted to open a small shop, mm -hmm. not just work from home. Then from there, I got kicked out from there. So I had to look for another shop on the Mahogany, which I wanted to stay in the Mahogany because the traffic, the yeah. people. The business was good. Uh, yes, yeah. it was good. So um, then after that, the um, Belize um, City Council and uh, uh, BTB, Mr. Mala, mm -hmm. Anthony, mm -hmm. they came and they said, you know what? We have these shops coming up that we yeah. want to give these people that are renting shops. And that's why I got my own shop now. Uh -huh. I am now stable at the Mahogany. Oh, nice. And, um, so how long has this venture into entrepreneurship been? How long has it been since you started the first time? The first time has been from um, 2013, I would say. Wow. Because yes, my son was just two years old. Wow. But it wasn't like stable like, like now. Yes. yes. So I just worked my way out. Mm-hmm. And here I am. Oh, yeah, right. now you're here. <laughs> and now you're on Open Your Eyes making stuff, Jack, for yes. us. How life has progressed. All right, so what's the first step? What are we going to do? We're going to do some stuff, Jack. This is my number one seller in my shop yeah. for breakfast yeah. and waffles. I wanted to do waffles, but yeah. I wanted to stop with this That's because it's jacks, something man. different. And people, yeah. everybody enjoys stuff, Jack, yes, right? Yes, they love stuff, Jack. Um, just, not just regular fried jacks, but, you know, we stuff them with... Um, we ha here I have some sausage, just regular mm -hmm. chicken sausage. Um, mm -hmm. with cheese, some cheese and eggs. eggs. That's it. Because okay. some people don't like tomatoes, onions, you know, so mm -hmm. I don't include that in my stuff, Jack. Oh, well, am it's I simple. saying wheat dough? Yes, because we are going, next week we're starting our wheat. Um, mm -hmm. I have a lot of people who want to stop eating just the regular flour and yeah. they ask for something wheat. I have wheat wraps and now we're going to have wheat stuff, Jack. All right. So okay. for those people who love wheat, Check yeah. me out. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, let's begin because Sorry. I have to start by saying it's not anyone that knows how to make a good fry jack, yeah. much less a stuff jack. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to mention that I don't I don't use salt. Okay. Because we all know that hot dog sausages is, is salty. salted. And so if you add salt to your eggs and then do you add salt to your flour dough? A little bit as well right. because you know People, mm -hmm. people not are really into this salting mm -hmm. right and now. And also the cheese is salty too. Yes. Yeah, you don't need too much. We don't of need of that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. correct. All right. So this has been your best seller. People come every morning for their stuff jack. Stuff jack and waffles are the first thing that goes from okay. my shop. So. What are the other things that you'd normally have on the menu? Um, we have wraps, wraps. We have bagels. Mm -hmm. We have good sandwich. We have breakfast burger. Mm -hmm. Um, we have croissants, mm -hmm. we have pancake wraps, mm -hmm. we have different stuff that we um, provide. We don't want to do Belizean breakfast because everybody does it. Yeah. My shop is very unique because all my breakfast comes with, with fruits, fruits on, the, on side. the side. So you don't we have to that. you don't have to go to Radisson. Yeah. You uh -huh. don't have to go to Biltmore. Uh -huh. We go right uh -huh. there City Tacos. City Tacos and yeah. it's just affordable. Right by, right by Mahogany. Right by Mahogany and it's just six dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. And then so so what you listed were primarily breakfast meals though. Do you cook uh, all throughout the day? 
We do lunches as well. What do you do normally lunch. have for lunch? Um, <laughs> I started to do like healthy, you know, um, lunches, but for some reason, yeah. people just love the rice, the beans, that big yeah. tail. <laughs> so every day I have to have white rice, two beans or split peas with pig tail. Oh, I yeah. love that. Big chicken, yeah. two chicken, ox tail, depends what I get, then that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love how uh, since 2013, you saw the vision and though things may not have worked out for you throughout the years as you've wanted, you stuck to it. You know, mm. that's a story in and of itself. You stuck to it and now you are getting better, doing better than where right. you were when you started. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to thank my customers, especially the Yabra people, because they, they're, they're the ones that um, kept me going mm -hmm. yeah. up to now. So they're the ones who started, you know, to mm -hmm. support my business. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to do the wheat. I'm going right? to do the wheat. Uh -huh. Have you, is this something you're new to with the wheat and you're still working on perfecting it? Be honest. <laughs> well, a customer asked me to do the uh -huh. wheat, and I said, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, but I can a different consistency. Yeah, right? I can. Flour. I can give it a try. So, uh -huh. and I asked, I asked back for, wow. Can I can help out with this. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Yes, I asked back for, you know, a uh, um, review on it, and they said it's very good. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, well, I will start to do this for those people who wants to go wheat. Yeah. So you, you've, you've done it, and people are saying that it's good. It's good. It's good. All yeah. right. And so you're going to continue doing it. So, right. I mean, your business is called City Tacos, and we've, we've talked about many different meals except tacos do you still do tacos <laughs> no i don't do anymore <laughs> i know i know but um because those things were for the evening time mm -hmm. yeah like four o'clock five o'clock okay. six o'clock fried tacos salbutes panares yes um but for right now we're just doing the breakfast and the lunch and on Saturdays, you now we're doing um, ira hudot mm -hmm. or bailo, something different from just barbecue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like everybody just barbecue, barbecue, but nobody, you can't say, okay, I want a good bailo. Yeah, okay. I want good hudot. So, so make we go back to that because when I was a pastor, like you never just saw you just say, you just said that <laughs> on Saturdays in Belize City, yes. more than like claim on most Saturdays, we could get hudot from. Or bailo, like this tomorrow is bailo. Last okay. week was so we okay. go one in one out. Okay. How much you charge for your uh bail up and your hood up, If you're not mind ass. <laughs> you know what I said for said? Uh, no, <laughs> I will say uh, like last week our hood up was for fifteen dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Not charging anyone twenty, yeah. twenty five dollars. Yeah. That's just a uh -huh. ridiculous price, that I is believe. Ridiculous. Um the bail up is fourteen to fifteen dollars. Like it depends on the how much we get the fish for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. And tell me something about your bail up. The bail up pile up? You have to come through tomorrow, man. Real? Man, I really have to come through tomorrow for real. I'm the hood the hood you give a good portion, right? Yes, we go right. give a good portion. Some people still want, like, if they just love this banana, this. Oh, see, look, that the hood out. Wow, that's look at that. That's pile up, pile my up. bad. Man, that thing, they pile up like pile up for real. <laughs> wow, how rich that. Well, Miss yes. Usher, I, I, I really want to talk a bit about uh, your journey as a businesswoman. This morning and for the month of March, we've been highlighting women entrepreneurs. What's your message to women that are interested in taking on entrepreneurship? For the young woman, I will not say just, I want to go to the young woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because um, the young woman of today, you know, we need to focus more on ourselves and our community. Um, in your business, of mm -hmm. course, your customers. So my message to you ladies that are just starting, don't give up. If you need help, look for help because help is out here. Mm -hmm. You just have to look. Because if you don't look, you don't get, mm -hmm. right? So um, my message to you ladies that um, you need to keep focus, never give up. Because if you give up, then you lose. Yeah. Well, so Did you have any mentors along the way that, that uh, guided you along this path? In the beginning, no, but then after came the BCAP from the Belize City Council. Okay. Um, they were a great help to me. They gave me some training that I needed. Mm -hmm. um, they're supporting my small business. Mm -hmm. And and now I am with NIME. Mm -hmm. I am part of NIME Women's um, Organization. Oh, yes, we had them on the show as well. Yes, I am part of them. And it's, 
it's really a good help because mm -hmm. we are in so many trainings, in so many lives where we we learn different things, mm -hmm. not just um, nationally but internationally. Do you think it's imp it's important for women entrepreneurs to uh, stay connected in a way that NIME provides, where you're able to lean on each other, ask each other for feedback on how to progress as an entrepreneur? Yes, I I believe yes. Um, to stay connected is the best because we all learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Every day we learn something new. Mm -hmm. um, we share ideas, we share experiences, mm -hmm. we share support. So I believe that staying connected is mm -hmm. a way to move to another yeah. level. So what would you say is the most important type of help that you can get on this journey or you should seek out on this journey? Mm -hmm. Help? Help, sorry. Help. What's the most important help or type of help you, you can or you should seek out on this journey? Um, training. Okay. Because a lot of small business or businesses, we don't have um, that PR. Uh, we treat customers how we want. And yeah. like when we get to a certain level, I believe, I would say we because I've been through it. Mm -hmm. And I learned that we have to, our bosses are actually the customers. Mm. We are not the bosses. Mm. Yeah. The customers. Because if you don't have customers, you yeah, don't you have, have anything. Nothing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, training is one. And then, of course, financial because we all need a, that financial that help. That startup. Yes. And not really like give you the cash even if they come and they give you the uh, products your products yes it help uh -huh. show them that you just don't want the cash that yeah. you you can get the items that you really need in your business but okay. then, and then, uh, is this is this fried that's good, good? that's yeah. good if you like yeah eggs like that. Yeah, yeah i like eggs like that you could turn it off yeah right look at that yeah looks really good right mm -hmm. that's, it does that's, look that's me that's me that's, that's you me. paul that's, that's you all me. And this is wheat stuffed jacks for you persons that want to enjoy a leaf fried jack, but you still want to try to put in a little bit of health in it too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The, the, the trick part to this yeah. is bending the I edges. I was going to because say because I watched some of the videos they showed and you have all those edges so tight and nice, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but the wheat is very different, I would say. Yeah. Well, let's see how it comes out. Let's see here. how it comes out here. My I, li I like your brave. You come on set and you try the wheat for yeah. us live on set. Like, I haven't perfected this one, but I'm going to do it anyway. No, man, that look good. Yeah, it does. No, it's that perfected, looks good. man. It's perfected. Okay, I, have, it's perfected. I have faith in myself. There you yes. go. I love yes. that. Yes. I love yes. that. So is this, a, is this a business of one? Is this a one-woman business? Or? One woman business. Single mother, one woman. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Are you hoping to expand your business at some point? Hopefully, yes. That's mm -hmm. um, one of my goals, to have at least three shops. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Three shops, you know, with yeah. the help of other ladies, because yeah. um, we have some people, that, some, some males that want to come mm -hmm. and want to work with me, but I prefer females. Why do you give, prefer females? Want to give the chance to females, especially single mothers. Yeah. I want mm. to give them that chance because when I was looking for doing something for myself, um, it was very hard. Mm. Yeah. People look at you like, oh, you don't need that or, you know, but they don't know the potential that you have. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So let's have them. That looks so beautiful bro. already. Look at that one. I, I, one I like one. the look of the wheat one. Yeah. I'm looks good. not used to seeing... Uh, wheat stuff jacks, mm -hmm. right? Uh, available anywhere, and so can to you see get that? the jack stuff with anything else, like maybe beans or chicken? We don't do beans or chicken. Okay, I, I, I take it just eggs, um, ham, bacon, okay, and sausages. Some okay. people don't eat eggs. Some people just want the sausage and cheese. Mm -hmm. Whatever how they want it, we do it. Okay. All right. Look at that. The tricky part to this stuff, Jacks, at the first time when I started to make these, you have to make sure it cooks good inside. Because mm. when I just started, it was like, look good outside. A little bit raw inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. so okay. you have to. You have to make sure it cooks good. So and then what's fine. the trick? How do you know when it's done inside? <laughs> because sometimes I just do a little opening there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That has always been my challenge with preparing stuff, Jacks, for myself. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you know? When it's ready. Right? And perhaps you stick a leaf farky nettle. See me how you do it with the Johnny cake or mm -hmm. you do it with something you're baking. And when you pull it out, if it, if it still has some dough on it, yeah. then it needs to go a bit more. Well, that's a beautiful jack right yeah, there. I, I'm <laughs> telling you. And it's uh, enclosed. It's sealed really yeah. well. So you're not seeing stuff coming out of it uh, a whole lot. Uh, any at all. Right now. All so right. It's almost done. So this is 
the city talk us and maybe maybe uh miss usher will consider changing the name sometime in the future yeah, do, are you Billy thinking city? of changing the name or people no. know it as no? city people tacos people already know it. it yeah no worry we will bring back the tacos the good first time. <laughs> yes. just just timings yeah. you mean you have to stay true to your roots you know even if you leave and come back you know yeah. they say you're left but you must come back <laughs> must come back right <laughs> And as you mentioned, what you have also ensured to provide uh, to your customers is that healthy side of fruits. Yes, it's a balanced breakfast because yeah. you have the fruits and you have whatever you want to eat. So, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that looks so good. I, mm -hmm. I love the looks of this one. Then I'll lift up the plate. Let a me bit. show you. Let me give you a trick to my stuff. Uh -huh. uh -huh. right? Another, because sometimes you go and, and buy fried cake and it's mm -hmm. very greasy. If you notice uh -huh. my one. And I was you're going not, to say, gonna, you're not seeing the yeah. oil. oil coming out. I will not tell you the secret because then that's my secret. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing from <laughs> town, we still never catch the no, secret. No, something else you never catch. Okay. okay. So there it well, is. You can this try, guys. Is Let me know. Beautiful. Can we cut it? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Let, let's let's, let's, you know. let's put knife. it here for our viewers to see. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Paul. Go ahead. Let me get a cut in this wheat one. This looks yeah, really good. Yeah, let's try the wheat. It will be my first time trying wheat, too. Oh, and it's actually fried all the way. Yes. True. Is it hot? Ooh, mm -hmm. look at that. Oh, that look is that. good. <laughs> that looks so good. All right, but the taste is in the jack. Yes. Yes, it is. Remember? It's the hot. The egg have no salt because yeah. of the cheese and the sausage. Yes. It smells good, too. It smells really good. Oh, you so, baked already? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so Naomi, remind us how we can uh, reach reach you, uh, where you're located. If we'd like to order some food, uh, can we do that as well? Yes, you can call me at six zero four eleven forty or WhatsApp us, mm -hmm. and or you can come to the mahogany, mm -hmm. and um, we are there you, right before the police station beside Chef Inslee. And do you post your meals online or your your menu online or yes. anything like that? How For can lunch, we find that? For lunch, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. And for the breakfast, we post 6 o'clock. Okay, and that would be on your Facebook? Right. Okay. You'll definitely see me, Miss Usher. I'll tell you that much. I've been waiting for you a long time. Oh, because I don't want to try my shop. Because I don't watch you. I don't follow you from Facebook. Did you message? <laughs> it is no, you I have message it? me? No, I don't no. message you. But okay. I don't that it look fine. Oh, nice. Well, I'll well, no, look just at that little now. Little yes, little yes, little yes. Little yes. Little and little you could definitely reach out to her for her food blog. Yeah. For your food blog, too. That's what so. she's saying. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let's dig in. So let me tell you the stuff, Jacks. The regular one, so mm -hmm. you have two in our plate with fruits on the side, $6. If mm -hmm. you want three in, the, in, the, in your plate, it's going to be $8. Mm -hmm. The wheat, seven, and then nine if you want three in it. So you said I could get three of this for $8. For, for $8. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, the I, I see what you're saying. It needs no salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really good, Naomi. But apart from that, the, the oil is not It's like, not oily. It's not oily. It's not oily at all. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations mm -hmm. to you. Thank, Thank you so much for cooking with us uh, on the show. And all the best uh, in your business as well. We can't wait to hear when you have your second location <laughs> and, and even your third. third. One. <laughs> Thank right. you, guys. I'm yes. grateful to be here. I just want to big up um, BCAP um, Love Foundation as well because mm -hmm. they have featured me before as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, my sisters, Nime. You know, um, thank you, guys, and for helping me to be a woman of society yeah. and for me to help the needy as well because yeah. my business helped the needy as well right. at times. Right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and all the best. You're welcome. Thank We're you. going to take another really quick break and when we come back, we wrap things up. Stay with us. I'm David Humes, this is Vanessa Humes. We own Liddyville Cool Spot. Belize Bank save us a lot of time working with them. We can keep track exactly what we spend. We will recommend Belize Bank 100% because we don't have to go to stand up in line and we can check on our, our account right from our house. Working with Belize Bank is the best. Smart hey there, smart thinkers. We're turbocharging your mobile experience with Smart's powered-up postpaid plans. 
Imagine a world where your data speeds flows faster than ever. Well, guess what? We've cranked up the dial and unleashed the post-paid power of smart, lightning-fast LTE data on all our post-paid plans. That's right, no speed bumps, more data. It's like having a limitless highway of data speed at your fingertips. Whether you're a lone ranger with an individual plan or a squad rolling with a group plan, everyone gets to surf, stream, and share at enhanced full high quality speed. Switch to Smart's powered up postpaid plans today and ride the wave of postpaid power. Visit any Smart showroom or smart-bz.com for details and make your mobile experience smarter and faster. Smart, bringing people together. I know I can't let this plan. I can't let this plan. One million sixty-seven thousand seven hundred slices of bacon are eaten by tourists each year, stimulating our local economy. Tourism means business. Wake up! Wake up! Now which cheese you think you may to eat all the while? Got your cheese with the blue rooster on the label is the traditional and the real deal. The original Dutch red back or hard cheese in a Belize. Be aware, check your label and make sure it is in English and for the Belize market. Got your cheese with the blue rooster, the real deal. Santiago Castillo Limited, supporting and building our Belizean community for 95 years and counting. Gaia Edam Dutch Cheese, aged and tropicalized, the best formula for the Belize market. Exclusively distributed by Santiago Castillo Limited. Welcome back and thank you for sticking with us. We had uh, four great, wonderful conversations, Paul. I have to say thank you to each and every one of our guests that stopped by. We were able to eat on two segments. Yeah. Uh, we're belly full, Paul. Yeah. Our bellies are full. But I also want to say that today is also uh, uh, an interesting day because it's the day before World Meteorolo Meteorology Day. You know, I couldn't, I, I, I always struggle with that word. Your word is jujitsu, mine is meteorology. There you go. So tomorrow is uh, World Meteorology Day. And uh, we wanted to get a quick uh, word from our friends at the Meteorological Service that we speak to on a daily basis. As you know, we spoke to them this morning and they gave us the weather update. So we wanted to check in really quickly on uh, just how they are celebrating uh, this day as well. So we're going to take a really quick call over there and uh, find out uh, what's happening as well. Good morning. Yes, guys, I'm ready. Okay, so we'll be seeing fair and mostly dry conditions today, and we'll be seeing that for another 24 to 48 hours. Temperatures, yes, for today along the coast, we'll be seeing 87 Fahrenheit in the 94 and the Maya Mountains 80. So we get our weather from you on a daily basis, every morning at 6.30, Miss Wellington. And we always look forward to your lively uh, voice to help us wake up in the morning. But you're definitely up much earlier ensuring that we have a weather update. Well, of course, I'm here since 9 o'clock the night before. Wow. And I work right through until 8 uh, the following morning. But I begin to prepare my stuff from the night before. Okay. Okay, because we have updates every six hours. And so at 5.30, I go and double check the new update to see if anything has changed and then I prepare all the forecasts. And that includes the general forecast, the four days forecast, as we see here. Right. Um, the marine forecast. Right. Uh, currently, we are in the dry season, so I have a fire forecast. And then we have the municipality forecast, and we have a discussion that we do. Mm -hmm. okay. All that I have to prepare and publish on the, um, the website. website. 
but I, I forgot about the aviation forecast. That yes. is very important for the airport. We have That's to have that prepared by 5.30 because the airport opens at 6. Oh. And that deals with, uh, I would say, low level um, features, like okay. from the surface up to 10,000 feet. That's where the local and domestic flights, they fly between these, um, these heights. So I have to give them wind speed, wind direction, temperatures, and then there is also a forecast that we prepare here for the aerodrome itself. It's called the terminal aerodrome forecast, specifically for the airport. Mm -hmm. And that is very important because all these uh, international flights that come in, before the pilots even get in their planes, they have to check this forecast. And they have to check to see what the weather will be like at the airport. Because based on that, they make important decisions. Yeah. Like, for example, during the rainy season when we are getting these thunderstorms, mm -hmm. if we have thunderstorms forecast for the airport, they have to have options uh, where they can land. For example, if they reach here and there's thunderstorms over the airport, we have different what we call alerts. Mm -hmm. okay? And if we have alert one, they cannot land. Mm -hmm. So they have to find options, probably Honduras or Cancun, oh. and wait out until these storms move out of the way. So all of that is included in the aviation forecast. What is one key information that you would want our viewers to know uh, uh, that they rely on you guys to provide to us? Okay, without being conscious, they're always thinking about the weather. Even the housewife, the people who are planning trips, because the first thing that comes to mind, I wonder if it will rain today, mm -hmm. okay? And unconsciously, they will look somewhere for the weather, mm -hmm. okay? And so that's what is important. Mm -hmm. Even the domestic um, housewife, they want to know if it's rain, if it's going to rain, to hang their clothes on the line, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, yes, we are important. My responsibility is to support um, the Chief Meteorologist as the Deputy Chief Meteorologist. I help with the administration of the department. I am also the head of the weather analysis and forecasting section that deals with the forecasters and with the weather observers. I was inspired um, by the fact that meteorology is a very intriguing science. There are a lot of unknowns and just the mere fact that to be able to tell what the weather conditions would be like to inform the public of upcoming weather events to me is really, really important. So I find that to be an essential part of my career. First and foremost, we have the observers, what we refer to as the weather observers. Their main task is to observe the current weather conditions outside, the type of clouds, the, um, the amount of um, rainfall that occurred when it rains, right? So they're the main persons. And then we have the weather forecasters who are actually tasked with using that information to provide the forecast that I mentioned about before. Then we have the agroclimate section. They deal with collecting the data and primarily service the agriculture sector among other sectors that we have. And then we have our IT and our instrument technician section. They are very important as well because they help to maintain the instruments and to do the installation for automatic weather station networks. As a weather observer, my responsibilities entail collecting uh, present weather conditions, for instance, I need to take readings from two thermometers. You have the dry thermometer and you have the wet bulb thermometer. And with these two um, temperature readings that we gather, I would go upstairs and enter it into a calculator. Mm -hmm. This calculator calculates the dew point as well as the RH for that specific time. So after I finish taking this reading, I would normally look up into the sky and I would more or less give an guesstimation as to how much cloud cover. We refer to it as octas. So right now we have roughly three plus octas or four octas of clouds. And then I'd have to identify the type of clouds. Right now, presently, we only have cumulus clouds. Every nine o'clock, we do an agroclimatic entering of information whereby we'd have to take measurements from the one foot soil thermometer that's this over here we'll take a reading from this and as well as the four foot soil thermometer the main purpose of these of these agroclimatic um, reading is for um, farmers 
Yeah, so we also take a reading from this manual rain gauge as well. Normally when the rain falls, it get collects it get collected into this funnel here and this funnel then drives the water into this bottle. And then we then we have a measuring cylinder in the substance screen. And then we normally just you know take the reading from that from there. It's a counterclockwise anemometer. It's just it just um, basically records the amount of wind speed to that specific day. So the number that we have here is saying what? That the, the reading basically it for that particular day. So every nine o'clock you'll take the reading from this, uh -huh. and then from the previous day, and then you'll normally give a, a do a calculation to more or less give the amount of the wind speed. Between. The difference between the two wind speed for that particular day. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. This particular instrument over here. Now this looks fancy. What is this? A sun, a solar, solar um, reader. This is a sunshine card. So what this basically do is it records the amount of daylight for that uh, particular day. Ah. So every six o'clock, we'd normally come here and replace this with a new one for the new day coming. Mm -hmm. So if we have a cloudy day, normally you won't see any reading. Why? Because this acts as a magnifying glass. So it actually burns on the sunshine card and it tells you, you know, how much how much um, sunshine we got recorded for that particular day. There. Basically, that's the release of the weather balloon. Uh, the instrument, we have an instrument attached to the end of that called the radar sun. And the purpose of the radar sun is similar to what my role is as an observer to collect weather conditions. But I collect weather conditions on the surface while that collects weather conditions up in the atmosphere. Yeah, because you can't go all the way up there. For sure. Yeah. So, how are you able to get the information from what that collects? Attached to that is a GPS and that GPS sends the data to the antenna over here and this building here. So why it sends the information via that particular and, um, signal, we have it set up on our computer system upstairs that you know continuously runs for that entire period of the flight. Normally a flight lasts for an hour to 15 minutes or hour and 15 minutes. Right. So you'll see all the, the, the what, different weather conditions up there display, what it may be, the, the temperature, the wind speed, right. the uh, pressure. And this takes place twice a day, 5 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the evening, correct? That's right, that's right. Well, the World Meteorological Day is actually Saturday, March 23rd, but we have decided to celebrate it a little bit earlier for the mere fact of having the involvement of the schools, right? We really wanted this year to showcase what we do and to use it as a, a way, a means of inspiring the young minds, right? We have found that over the years that we have had less and less persons interested in meteorology. So we found it necessary to spark that interest and so we decided that it would be good to have an open day, invite primarily the primary schools to come see what we do, inform them how it could be possible for them to become a part of the team. That was nice. Uh, we want to say uh, happy World Meteorology, Meteorolo Meteorology Day. <laughs> Meteorological. Meteorology Day. Meteorological yeah. Day. Yes. Uh, it's tomorrow. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, we didn't actually call in. That was uh, our visit that we took place that took place uh, earlier this week. And we just took a really quick tour of what takes place at the Met Service in Ladyville. We want to say a special thank you to them. They're always uh, 
bright and early there with us. Uh, and of course, it was really interesting, Paul, to, to learn how the staff members at the Met Service has been so committed to their work. Uh, we were speaking to Miss Wellington that we, we hear all the time on the phone, and she's been working there for three decades, um, of course, as a forecaster. And there are many, there are many other persons I mean, there who have devoted their life so to Serena, you can't downplay, like none of us can downplay the work that they do over there when it's flooding. Mm -hmm. We rely on them to tell us mm -hmm. the, about the flood waters. When, it's, when there's a storm or a hurricane coming, mm -hmm. we rely on them. When heavily. we want to travel. When, when, the sun, uh, when the sun is hot uh, and, and we need to know what they will be like, yeah. when it's going to rain and yeah. we want a beach day, we rely on them when yeah. it's snowing. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> no, but if it was, yeah, then we'd rely on I, them. I agree, and, and, and that's uh, something that Miss Wellington pointed out. Uh, we, we oftentimes take for granted, we only want to know the weather, if it's going to rain or not. But if we decided that we wanted to take a flight somewhere, the airport needs to know mm. what the weather will be like if it's going to be fitting for travel. Mm. So uh, there, there are so many aspects to what more. their job yeah, is. And um, I have to say, uh, they are indeed a, a set of people that deserves a, a com commendation for their work as well. Of course, if you have somebody by your side helping you on a daily basis, walk, holding your hand and walking you through, you want to appreciate those persons. Yeah. And so... We appreciate you all over there and we say thank you for your service. All right. Well, we also want to say thank you to our viewers for tuning in with us on this fun Friday. It is March the 22nd. And if you are celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to you. But if you'd like to give a birthday shout out or if you have any questions, comments or concerns, you can send us an email at OIE at Channel 5 Beliefs.com. You can also catch us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ as well as Instagram at OYE Believes. Thanks so much for joining us. And please do us a favor and join us again on Monday as you open your eyes. And start your morning right. Until then, keep your eyes, your minds, and your hearts. Have a wonderful Friday. Open Your Eyes was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank.